Yo, what's up everyone and welcome to another mail series unboxing and I got one package, one little package for you today. Look at that. Semi big box. It's not really that big at all actually. But uh, this is from a website called Red Art Games, which if you do not know, Red Art Games is a site that's like a limited run or a special reserve games where they have limited game games. <laughs> they have limited print games. Uh, so there's only a set amount of them, and if you get them, you're good. If you don't, you missed it. Oh, well. Uh, and this is a order I made uh, about a week ago. So, And I think Red Art Games, I want to say Red Art Games is in a different country or something like that. I'm not sure. Actually, I, could, I guess I could just look. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, France. It's a French company. So for it to get here in a week is pretty good. Only a week. Wow. And uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, I did spend over a hundred and something dollars on this, but whatever, you know. Anyway, they had a bunch of games on sale. Their games don't really sell out quick, even though their print runs are really small. It's around 999 copies per game. Uh, but they have like more lesser known games, so they don't sell out as quick. So sometimes they'll actually have a sale. So games will be on sale, obviously, for way less than they usually sell for. So, um... I picked up some games. So I paid a little over 100 I think. And uh, I think like 120 or something. And I got a bunch of games. Uh, yep, here they are. I'm not going to show you them. Uh, period. Fuck yourselves. <laughs> Fuck yourselves. I ain't showing you shit. No. No, I'm just kidding. Please watch. Give it a like. Um, I got a bunch of PS5 games. They had PS5 games. So you know how to get those. Uh, and then they had some PS4 games that were like super cheap. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just add them to it let's do the ps4 games first first one this was eight bucks was it eight bucks or was it it was eight dollars oh what was the currency shit what's french currency uh, baguettes <laughs> that's not funny uh i got a game called steam tactics which i've actually heard is a pretty good game it was eight bucks i think it ended up being around close to that in in real money um so <laughs> so this one is uh steam tactics supposedly this game is actually pretty fun uh like it actually had good reviews i made sure to get the games that were either cheaper and had good reviews because they had a bunch of games that were uh cheap they might still have the sale going on right now i'm not too sure but uh they had some games that were like relatively pretty cheap um but a lot of them weren't like the best games this one actually had a, a few really good reviews so eight bucks why not uh, next one is a game called Crash Bots. Now, this one didn't have great reviews. It was more like sixes, but this one was six bucks. So I was like, you know what? This one I'll, I'll buy just for like, maybe in the future it'll be worth a little bit more. Uh, I think people are selling this for about 15. So, uh, why not? It's a, it's a unique game in the collection and I'm all about that uniqueness. So, and then the last PS4 game, this one I actually heard uh, really good things. I actually was going to get this game when it first came out. And this is Steel Rats. This game I actually heard was really cool. So uh, it's like a, kind of like a, I want to say it's a, I'm not going to read it, the back, because I'm sure it tells you exactly what it is. I want to say it's like a, it's just a side scrolling, like beat em up, but you're always on a motorcycle. Wreck and Ride and a visceral groundbreaker evolution of the 2.5 action arcade genre fusing destructive octane fueled motorbike combat and death defying stunt gameplay set a visually stylized retro future world. Switch between four unique characters as you wreak havoc. Yeah, that's actually that might be a good one. This was 10 bucks. This one was a little bit more than the other two. So, uh, so that's it for PS4. Everything else is PS5. I'm gonna just take them all out right now and throw this fucking box away. And uh, all of these were uh, 20 bucks each. So they were, they were more expensive. But uh, these are all games I had my eye on. Uh, and I was actually going to buy them at various times in the last few months on eBay for like 25, 30 bucks or whatever. So getting them all for 20, I think probably a little bit less because I think the exchange rate was a little bit lesser. I think it was like, I think I spent like $20 less than I thought I was going to because I did the exchange rate wrong or something like that. I remember last week I was like, oh, I'm actually spending less. Uh, that might have also been because I, yeah, you know what? I think that was also partially that was because I put my address in wrong and originally it was going to charge me like $8 extra for shipping or something like that. Or am I thinking of something else? I buy so much shit, I don't know. Anyway, so PS5 games. First one, 
is a game called Project Xenon Valkyrie X or Plus. There's an X there, so Project Project Xenon, but it looks like Project X. So you got, it confused me. Uh, it's got the waifus, so you know I had to get that. I think the game itself, uh, I think this one's actually supposed to be really good. Or is it this one that I'm thinking of? They both have very similar covers, as you'll see. But they're, mo they're both made by the same people. Um, but uh, I've heard one of these is good. It's either this or the next one that's really good. But hey, had to get it. So there you go. You know me, I like my waifus. Thick thighs, that's where we go. Well, that's where we at, bro. That's the, wor that's the world I live in. Uh, so... <laughs> That's, uh, by the way, can I say that these cases are really good? Not a single disc is loose. So, this one? Nothing's loose. How about the Steel Rats? Not loose. How about the, this Crash Bots and Steam Tactics? Nothing loose. Not a single one is loose. Hmm? It's almost like the uh, the, the foreign uh, PS5 cases and PS4 cases are better than the ones we get in uh, shitty old America, eh? So... Anyway, the other game from the same people is Riddle Corpses EX. This one is uh, made by Diabolical Mind, which is the same developers. And it, as you can tell, it has a very similar look. Uh, this one, though, is like a top-down shooter. I played a little bit of this on Xbox. I don't remember if it was good or not. I I, I want to say I played like 30 minutes of it. But um, I think this one is the one that gets really... I, I'm confused. One of these got really good reviews. So, anyway... Which is weird that one wouldn't and then the other one would, considering they're made by the same people. Speaking of the same people, this is also made by the same people. This is a game called Demon's Tear. Now, this one actually got good reviews. I know that for a fact. Those two I'm confusing because they anime. Because they anime. They also have uh, X in the title in some form. Uh, this one, Demon's Tear. This one has a plus in it, though. Uh, they like their pluses and their Xs at Diabolical Mind. Uh, but this one I've heard is really good. And that, that box art's fucking sick. Um, so actually, I mean, I guess the artwork for these two are awesome too. I mean, if you, you know, if you, if you are, if you are kind of fool like me, uh, so yeah, this game is like an old, you know, old school style, like a adventure style game. Maybe, mm, uh, oh, combining the best elements from Xenon Valkyrie plus and riddled corpses EX. This is the latest game in the diabolical mind trilogy. Okay. So they don't have anything to do with each other. But... Uh, they're calling it a trilogy. So, maybe this does have something. That, I don't see any anime girl. I guess she looks like she might be anime-ish. Right there. I think that's a lady. You can't see her, though. Is there any anime on the... Oh, no! There's an anime girl right there! How did I miss it? You can't see her. She's anime. Don't worry about it. All right. Last two games. These are not from... Uh... Is this from Diabolical Mind? Hold on. No, I didn't think so. Uh, this one, uh, I was legitimately about to buy this like a week ago. Um, like this, around the same time I bought these. I was so close to buying it on eBay. And I didn't. And I got it for less than I would have paid on eBay. Uh, and that is Gunborg Dark Matters. Uh, I've heard solid things about this one too. Hey, Red Hat Games, they, I mean, they might, might not be all the best games there. But hey. For the most part, not too bad. I've heard good things about this one, and I like I like the box art. You know, this one's anime, but in like a different way. Actually, that's more like that's not. I wouldn't say that's anime. She doesn't look like anime. Anyway, so there you go. And the last game, this one. This one, honestly, I'm not too sure about. I've I've heard mixed things about this one. Uh, this is a, uh, a point-and-click adventure style game called Demetrios, the big cynical adventure replastered. Oh, it's replastered, eh? Uh, so there you go. I have a feeling when I start playing this, I'll look like that guy. <laughs> so, but I'm not going to be playing this anytime soon. So uh, I've heard mixed things about this one. So I'm not 100% sure. But uh, just realize, actually, not all of these are Peggy rated. I don't think, right? Or are they? Oh, no, they are. They're just green. Okay, so... Wait, hold on. The the one with the big booby anime girls are... It's good for seven-year-olds, but... Oh, wait. The other one's 12. Okay, so... Never mind. Uh, but... But the... But the demon one is also for kids? Uh, my kids aren't into the demons. But this one... This one... Gunborg? That's just... I'm confused. I don't get it. I'm, I don't know where I am. Help me. Anyway, there you go. That's it. So uh, that's all the games I got from uh, Red Art Games.
uh, again, the PS5 collection grows. So there you go. I do like the uniformity here. It all has like the, almost the same exact text, just with the background. The background's different. So I wish uh, Switch would do that at least. Like, I hate the text being the same for the Switch, but if they had the backgrounds, like it wasn't just the same red background, then I'd be okay with that. Anyway, there you go. That's that. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Till next time. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.